Today we are going over the top 5 external tools you should be using when playing Foxhole. I've met a lot of new and even vet players that still don't know some of these exist. If you are looking for extra tools that will help you understand the game more, or help you use your time more effectively in Foxhole, then this video is for you. Unfortunately, not a lot of this information can be found in the game without the help of these tools. I'll make sure to leave the links below in the description to all these tools. Let's get into it. Information is king in Foxhole and being able to understand the map more will help you be better at Foxhole. Let's start with our first and most common tool, Foxhole Stats. Foxhole Stats is the very first website I came to after I got Foxhole. I think I even found Foxhole Stats before I knew Foxhole Reddit existed. I remember when I first started playing Foxhole. I would log off for the night and all day at work the next day I would have a tab open with Foxhole Stats. I would be constantly wanting to know what was going on in the war and what territories were being taken or lost. Even after 1300 hours in the game I still don't know where every town is. So when players request logistics for a specific town and I don't know where it is, I get on Foxhole and use the search function to find out where I need to go. This feature is one of my favorites that I still use a lot today. A second way to utilize Foxhole stats is to check how many deaths are happening for each faction each hour and each hex. If you have a limited time to play and you just want to join the most active frontline, then all you need to do is glance over these numbers. If you see high numbers like this and they are over 200 plus deaths for each side, then you will know it's a fairly active hex. If you see numbers below 100 deaths for each side like this one, you will know the hex is probably not very active at this time. Look these numbers over before logging on and you will know where you want to spawn once you're in the game. Some other cool features on this site is the ability to measure your distance on the map. This is really helpful with doing artillery groups and needing to know how far your guns will be able to shoot. Another feature is the ability to send a position link. You place the marker anywhere on the map and it'll give you a link that you can send to any other player. This is helpful if you're trying to call out enemy positions or if you're running any sort of special operation or partisan operation. You can also see how long the war has been going on, how many players are currently on, how many deaths have happened in this war so far, and you can look at the results of past wars as well. One last thing I really like about this site is that recently the owner released a bunch of data about the population for both factions. If you are a data person, you will like looking all of this over to see all the different population trends that have happened through past wars. I recently made a video that summarized a lot of this data if you want to check that out. I will leave a link in the description below. The next tool we will look at is Foxhole Logistics Calculator. This website helped me out a lot when I first started playing Foxhole and when I first started doing logistics. I still use this tool today for bigger Logi operations. All you need to do is click the items that you want to make and the calculator will let you know the total cost of these items. Let's say that you want to make some shirts, rifles, ammo, and grenades for the front. You can simply put them into the calculator and see how much of each resource you will need to make these items before you can deliver them to the front. You can filter the items based on which faction you are and if you are using a normal factory or a mass production factory. If you have some free time, I would recommend just playing around with this tool to see the total cost of what items are. If you are new and want to take it a step further, I would recommend using this tool with the resource like FMAT Logistics Guide to plan your next logistics trip. Next, let's look at the artillery calculator. As I mentioned before, Foxhole Stats is good to use to find out the basic range. But this tool is much more specific if you want to get serious about artillery. This website is called Foxhole Cheat Sheet. With this artillery tool, you can place on the map where your artillery guns are, where your spotter is, and the target that you want to hit. Once you have marked on the map where all three of these things are, it will give you your optimal settings for your artillery guns. Of course, you will need to adjust for in-game wind. After you have fired a test shot, you can place a marker on the map where the shot landed, and this site will help you make adjustments. Another cool feature on this website is the structure damage chart. This chart will tell you how many rounds or rockets or shells you need to use to destroy your target. I find this chart extremely helpful. If you're looking to become a professional artillery player in Foxhole, then you will want to make sure you use this tool. And like any of these tools I'm talking about today, once you become an expert in Foxhole, you will start to use these less and less. The next tool we will look at is for the ones getting shot by the artillery, the builders. The Foxhole Planner tool is one of the most detailed and extensive tools I've seen yet. If I wanted, I could have probably made an entire video just explaining this one tool. If you are someone that wants to know more about building bunker bases or facilities, then this tool is for you. You can practice all of your builds on this site and see how many resources you will need as well. You can find templates and current meta builds for bunker bases and facilities. Start your own new projects and save them and send them to others to look at. You can even put the current war map in the background and plan your base out here before actually building it in game. Of course, make sure that spot in game is available for the base that you want to build before planning this out. Almost every asset in the game is in this tool. You can spend hours and hours planning your next base here. I know some players that will use this tool to practice building a base and then ask an expert builder to review their bases for feedback and suggestions. Again, this saves a lot of time from actually trying to build the real base in-game. If you want to become a serious builder, then I recommend you take time to learn how to use this website. The final tool will help you plan out your travels in Foxhole. The Foxhole map is pretty big and has lots and lots of roads. It can be pretty confusing for new players when traveling around. This tool helps players plan their route for where they need to go. I actually used this tool during my video when I ran across the Foxhole map. I needed the most optimal path to get me from the very top of the map to the very bottom of the map, and it will actually give you travel 
several times for Logi trucks, flatbeds, and tanks. Though it's really not necessary for you to know, I like how it gives you the entire route outlined on the side here as well and how far you will travel down each road. Another small feature of this map is you can click your location and find the nearest refinery or factory as well. Again, I used this resource a lot when I first started playing Voxel. I will admit I don't use it as often now just because I'm really familiar with the map now. These have been the top five external tools to use when playing Voxel. But luckily for you, we're not done yet. I have a few bonus tools that you should be using as well. And to be honest, I only had three other bonus tools, so I couldn't call this video a top 10 tools video. And that's why I'm just saying they're bonuses. Here are some of the bonus resources that you can use. The first bonus tool you should be using is Foxhole Mods. The type of mods that I'm going to show you are allowed in Foxhole and don't break the TOS and won't get you banned. If you need help installing these mods, I've created a video for that and we'll link it down below. I'm always getting asked in the comments sections which mods I use and here are the ones that I recommend the most. The UI Label Icon Color Mod for Foxhole is my favorite. It places all the different Foxhole items into colorized categories. This helps me out a lot as a Logi player. I can scan over bases very quickly to see what kind of items are needed on the front. If I don't see many green icons, I know that they are low on medical gear. If I don't see a lot of blue icons, I know they are low on utility items. These are just a few examples. Again, this mod has helped me out so much and I highly recommend you get it. The next mod is the Better Map Mod. This mod is very helpful for new players that don't know the map very well. It does a great job of outlining the roads and terrain better than the normal map does in game. I will be honest, I don't use this map mod anymore just because I've played so long with the normal map and I prefer the normal map over this one. But again, this may help new players understand the map better when they first join. The last mod I get asked about all the time is more of a fun mod. This mod is the super uber fantastical sound mod. It just makes things in Foxhole sound a lot more realistic. And I'm constantly getting compliments in my video on how cool the game sounds with it. I would highly recommend getting this one and adding it for a more immersive game feeling. The next bonus tool I would recommend is that you check out all of Freerik's YouTube guides. Freerik is the king of Foxhole guides. He goes over step by step on how to do everything in Foxhole. I petition that we put Freerik's Foxhole guides in the game and on the tutorial island for all new players to see. Freerik has been making guides for almost two years now and is still actively making more guides today. Make sure to subscribe and go watch his guides if you want to learn anything Foxhole related. My final bonus this tool is a simple one but a game changer. The OP Auto Clicker 3.0. If you're a Logi player or a builder, this tool will save you some repetitive clicking. Install this program and let it run in the background. I keybind the auto click to F11 and then I just let it gather the BMATs or let it build for me instead of having to hold the mouse down the entire time. Normally while I'm building, I'm responding to YouTube comments. Though this is not an external tool, I believe the best tool in game to use is communication. Communicate with your team through your microphone or text chat. If you're a new player, let others know that you're new and ask questions all the time. Don't be afraid to ask ask a stupid question or feel like you're bothering anyone. Someone will come to your aid and help you, I promise. Or you can always feel free to DM me on Discord. Now we are at the end and those are all the external tools that I highly recommend you check out when playing Foxhole. Any other resources I forgot? Any of these that you use all the time? Are there any of these resources that are outdated? Let me know in the comments. Again, all the links for these resources will be provided in the description below. Feel free to join my Discord and DM me any questions you have about using them or if you have any questions about Foxhole. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. Make sure to subscribe subscribe for more Foxhole content, and remember to subscribe to Freerik as well. Seriously, do it. Amazing content creator for Foxhole. Cheers.